relevant student in this video we are going to do one of the question paper from manufacturing or you can call it cost accounting so this chapter guys is for term three okay we took it from one of uh, it's a question from one of our study guides uh, that we release now on the term three so if you want a study guide make sure that you text us on whatsapp so the study guide guys for now is only a soft copy which is costing only a hundred rand this is due to higher cost guys of printing out those study guide it's gonna be expensive if you are selling a hard copy for now we don't have a deal to sell a hard copy because of a expensive to print so this question paper is very 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 important and is going to teach you how to calculate a cost per unit is going to teach you how to calculate a break even point make sure that you stay tuned watch until the end so that you're gonna learn more on this video okay let's look at this question paper a unit cost calculation they say that a crossroad table manufacturer you are provided with the information related to crossroad table manufacturer for the year ending 28 february 2019 and they say the factory manufacturer wooden catering table 3.1.3.1 1. calculate the direct material cost per unit two marks 3.1.2 calculate the break even point for the year end 28 february you must know the formula of break even point okay then after that we need to answer the question according to what we calculated let's start with 3.1 is 1.3.1 calculate direct material cost per unit in order for you to get a direct material cost per unit a direct labor cost per unit or total variable cost per unit you have to make sure that you identify number of units that has been produced because you just take the total divide by number of units produced okay let's take a direct material total cost we are given the amount is seven sixty eight nine six and then you divide by let's check additional information number b additional information they say the business produced and sold 4320 tables during the year and there is no work in progress at the beginning and at the end so we divide by 4320 that's where we are going to get what amount per unit so if you want to be sure about this one you also have to check direct labor cost direct labor cost guys we are given amount of 224,640 you just take 224,640 divide by 4,320 and check if you are going to get that 52 rand that's how you must verify first before you go to this calculation you do all step the same step when you are doing all this uh, variable okay now uh, let's produce remember it does not apply on fixed cost okay now let's let's get the answer for this one uh, it's gonna be 178 so guys remember when we talk about a variable cost per unit we are talking about costs that depend on how many units produce the more goods are produced the more expense is going to be high that's how uh, is determined okay now we got the answer for 3.1 that's two marks very simple total divided by number of units produced okay calculate the break even point for the year end 28 february 2019 break even point you must know the formula 1.3.2 the formula for break even point it says a total fixed cost divided by a selling price per unit per unit minus variable cost per per unit know the difference between per unit and the total total we are talking about a larger amount per unit is a small number per, per one item okay 
Let's take our total fixed cost in this case. We are given amount of 5, 18, 400. And we divide by our selling price per unit is amount of 400. We are not looking of total price. We, we, we are looking for per unit under sales minus variable. If you check variable, we are given amount of 245. 245. Okay. Then if you do this calculation, uh, you will get, here you are going to get 400 minus 245, uh, you will get amount of 155. Then after that, if you say 518 divided by this one, you are going to get um, 3345. So what does this mean? A break even point. When we calculate a break even point, we want to see how many units are we going to produce before we make any profit, any loss. So this is the point where there is no profit and no loss, which means that if we spend 10 rand, we are going to get 10 rand back. If we produce 3345 units, we are not going to make a profit, we are not going to make a loss. But if we produce 3,346 additional of 1, which means that we are going to make a profit. Additional from here is a profit. Now, let's check the next question. Should the business be satisfied with the number of units manufactured during 2019? Explain a uh, quoting relevant information. Are they going to be happy? Let's check. This is point of no profit, no loss. But how many uh, units that we produce? We produce 4,320 and we sold all of them. Which means that we produce more than no point, no loss point. Which means that our answer is going to be 1.3.3 years. We produce 4,320, uh, which is above 4,320, which is above break even point of 3,345. Obviously, the business is going to make a what? A profit business will make a profit just like that very simple very simple okay now let's go to the next one 3.1.3.4 the direct material cost per unit was 152 in 2018 and explain two reasons for the different over the two financial year Last year, uh, 1.3.4, last year in 2018, they said that it was uh, 152. Now in 2019, it is 178, which means that now the business is spending more when they are producing what a direct material or when they are purchasing this direct material what could be the reason <laughs> number one is either the supplier has increased the price supplier number one supplier increase price okay or is either the petrol price has increased, which is increasing what? Transport cost. Okay. This is not only the reason. Even a wastage of material could lead to higher uh, direct material. If we, a lot of material are, are being wasted, which means that we have to purchase more so that they can cover what? The production. Wastage of material 
a stage of material okay and even poor control of raw material can lead to what to increase so i hope you learn something guys please don't forget to subscribe né? so that you can watch other videos and those who want to watch a full question paper video make sure that you join our membership is only nine rand per month and, and 19 rand per month so if you click join you will see the option if you join you're gonna see other videos that you are not be able to see even if uh, you didn't subscribe guys once you subscribe and when you go to playlist you will see other videos that you want you, you, you didn't see them when you are not part of this uh, channel okay i will see you on the next video